It starts to Wanda Weiss playing Jessica, who brings her family back to her childhood home, where one of her stepdaughters discovers a teddy bear hidden in the basement. Although not everything is as it seems with this teddy bear. Blumhouse can be hit or miss, and my expectations weren't really high for this film. I have seen Blumhouse films that I really adore, but a lot of others can come off as just junk food horror. This movie unfortunately falls in the category of junk food horror for me. I didn't find the characters very interesting, I thought the narrative was really weak, and it follows the exact plot thread that you have seen a million times over in better horror movies. There are a few positives here. I thought there were some decent scares in the film. There is a somewhat okay atmosphere. And there were a couple sequences that I did enjoy and were actually a little bit frightening. But for the most part, it's just jump scares. And that's not really something I enjoy when I'm watching horror movies. Sure, you can jump at a loud noise, but... I'm not really taking anything away from this. I'm not actually afraid. I'm jumping because a loud noise went off. That's not scary. Aside from a couple of scenes, I didn't really find this film scary or even very creative. It feels like there are so many other horror movies that have done this concept better. Imaginary is very much playing on the idea of an imaginary friend who maybe isn't completely imaginary. I feel like we've seen this so many times before. I mean, take Child's Play, for example. Chucky is this toy that comes to life and communicates with this kid, and the kid has a relationship with it, but all the adults think it's pretend because it's a toy. Toys don't come to life. It's the exact same thing here. I just feel like it didn't do anything new, and it follows the structure of a million films before it, where no one believes a child at first, but then, oh, some weird things start happening with the adult, and then there's this old lady character who has all of the information and knows way more than she should. There's research scenes, all of it. It's all here. I didn't find the acting particularly great either. I wasn't really buying into these characters. You can't really fault child acting. They're doing the best they can, and honestly, they were fine throughout the film film, the teenager, the little girl, it was fine, it was serviceable, it did its job. The character just got I really didn't care about, and the father character, who I believe was played by Tom Payne, what just wasn't really around. It didn't really make sense to me. You're moving into this new home, and maybe some weird stuff is going on, and the dad's like, okay, I'm gonna head out now, and that's it. It just feels like there's nothing really noteworthy to talk about in this one. And there is a substantial twist that happens toward the end of the film, but because everything's been so illogical, I don't really care. While it does do a good job of reframing how you were thinking about the film earlier, it, it doesn't really matter. In my opinion, it's almost an insignificant detail because we know what's been going on already. So having this kind of switch in perspective doesn't really alter anything. It kind of felt like a pointless twist to make the film seem like it's better than it actually is. It really isn't. I really don't want to waste a lot of time talking about this one. The plot's not interesting. There are a few decent scares, but again, it's just jump scares, so there are moments of tension that are genuinely creepy, but they're broken by a jump scare, and then I don't care anymore. The tension is immediately broken. I'm not feeling anxious throughout this film. It's not really doing anything other than the few scares that are interesting, but once those scares are over, any sense of creepiness or fear is immediately gone. I feel like even though it wasn't very good, I wouldn't mind rewatching it if I was with a group of friends. There were definitely points where the movie, in my opinion, was unintentionally funny. I feel like I could have a good time watching this with a few people if we're just kind of making jokes throughout, and you wanted something in the background that's just a generic horror movie. That's all this really is. It's just a generic horror movie that you're not really going to think about after you see it. I'm giving Imaginary a 4 out of 10. It was probably better than Night Swim. But I feel like that's not really saying much. All this being said though, I am a huge Halloween Horror Nights fan, and I have a feeling that this could end up as a house for HHN, just because it's Blumhouse, and they have a character in Chauncey. That's the name of the teddy bear imaginary friend thing, by the way, is Chauncey. I will say one thing that was done really, really well, however, was creature design. There is a point in this film where you get to see this gigantic, kind of scary looking monster type thing, and it's a completely practical costume. It looked gorgeous and fantastic, and that was terrifying. And it just made me wish the rest of the film could have been that good. This movie is not in the same league as the creature that came out of it. But yeah, at HHN I could definitely see that creature making an appearance, especially if we have another Blumhouse this year. Thank you so much for watching! Let me know in the comments below what you thought of Imaginary, or what's your favorite Blumhouse movie? Subscribe for more reviews very soon, and until then, so long, friends.